This year was insane. Welcome to the Grammys! Fashion Week, Europe, Milan, Japan, Kids' Choice Awards. We all got slime. Um, Hollywood could chew you up and spit you out. But this is the life that everyone asked for. How we doing? How are we feeling ahead of season three? Good. Good. I yeah. think. We'll see. <laughs> Nervous. Yeah, I sense the nerves there. Now you guys, each season has kind of had its own identity. Season one, you guys were kind of just getting the ball rolling, moving to LA, quarantine. Season two, we really got into you guys and your business, taking off with music. Um, what's, what's in store for season three? It was a lot. It was a lot of... Oh, stuff going on all at once and it was a definitely a time in our lives to be captured so I feel like I don't even remember what I was doing at that time so it'll be interesting to kind of go back and see exactly what was happening. Landon and I are in a relationship in the public eye. There's a lot of pressure. You just want to be like me. You just want to be like me. I was going to say, when you guys go back and once these are released and you sit back and you rewatch these things, does it bring up old emotions? Does it kind of bring up old memories and you're, you're like, oh, wait, or is it just, oh, we moved past that and it's just fun to watch back and reminisce? Well, it's like, it happens, whatever, whatever it is, it happens. And then you get like a cut of the episode back and then it's like, oh, okay, this happened. Like, now let's figure out, like, how did we feel? And then you get the final cut back and then you get all of you guys watching the episodes and then everyone watching the episode. So it's like a bunch of little times to kind of feel how you're feeling and go through the same By this thing. point, it feels like, oh, that was forever ago. Like, we, that's already like problem resolved, feeling good about it. So it's interesting to like talk about it on the other side of things already. It's a really confusing dynamic within my family sometimes. Does your family have a habit of pretending everything is fine when it's not? <laughs> that brings me to my next point. You guys are really open about your mental health and needing to take those breaks when it's necessary. Your parents definitely helping out when you guys need to kind of take a step back. But why did you feel it was so important to really show that authentic side of you guys of, you know what, we're not okay 100% of the time, no one is? I feel like we didn't really even think about it. It's just kind of like the cameras are in our house. We've got to film. Yeah. And here's how we're feeling. I think it's, you know, everyone thinks that like the show, it's just like a fly on the wall type of thing, which it is for a lot of the time. But I think sometimes it gets to the point where, you know, you try so hard to like push everything down so it can all be okay. And then, you know, the cameras are still there and you're kind of like at that point where it's, well, what am I gonna do now? Like, am I gonna kick the cameras out of the house or are we just gonna feel how we're feeling right now? And understanding that that's just how it how it is, you know? Like, this is something that we agreed to do, so showing all sides of it, I think, is important. It's beautiful. We're staying at Resorts World. It has its own private area out in the back of the suite, which has its own pool and hot tub. Now, last season, you guys made a little family trip to Vegas. Dixie, your dad says you love Vegas, but do you guys have any specific favorite memories about Las Vegas that come to mind? I've done a lot of my birthdays in Vegas. <laughs> because my dad um, would go to a trade show in August. It was right around my birthday, so we'd all end up going. And I think it was funny being able to go like, for my 16th birthday and then I think like my 18th, maybe a couple more before that. And then I went for my 21st birthday and, and my 22nd. And just like the week mm -hmm. before. And it was fun just kind of seeing how that would grow up. Honestly, my best birthday was probably when I was 18 in Vegas, but we love it.